How's it all going? This is Ducky, and welcome to Brothers in Oz. Today I'm playing a bit of Alice Madness Returns. Didn't get a chance to finish this game when I first started playing it years ago. So now I'm just replaying it. Hopefully I'll finish it this time. I really enjoyed the first Alice, American McGee's Alice it was called. and uh, I think this game is it's actually a lot of fun. It's a great action platformer. Uh, with a great visual style and a bit of a creepy story, so I kind of like it. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you today about Kickstarters and how I feel about them. And the reason I'm making this video is because I received an email today from Uber Entertainment. And they were advertising their latest Kickstarter, or their new Kickstarter, for a game called Human Resources. It's a new strategy game that they want to make. Uh, which is all well and good. I mean, the game looks pretty interesting. It looks fun. But I have one beef with it. And that beef is that they have already had a successful Kickstarter. And the, that Kickstarter was obviously Planetary Annihilation. Now, if you don't know what Planetary Annihilation is, I suggest you go check it out on YouTube. Go check it out on Steam because it's actually a really good game. And I think, you know, you should go check it out if you don't know what it is. See if it it interests you, maybe even purchase it. I don't, it's pretty cheap, it's like 20 or 30 dollars on Steam. So, um, yeah, go check it out if you don't know what it is. Uh, now, Planetary Annihilation itself already has a lot of flaws. I mean, it, it feels like an unfinished game. Uh, for example, you I believe you still can't save in the game, which is kind of bizarre. Memory but is a anyway, I'm not here to talk about Planetary Annihilation. If you want to know more about the problems with it, you can go check out the Steam forums. Um, you'll see lots and lots of bitching there. <laughs> um, can't find the door. But yeah, I actually think it's a good game. And uh, I can't fault it too much for the price. I deserve my bitter tears. Once that said, I feel like the my initial reaction to getting an email from uber about a new kickstarter was like what are you doing like why are you asking for more money it doesn't make sense to me i thought that um you should be able to use your first game and take the profits from that and invest it into your next game why do you need to ask for more money from the gaming community I feel like the gaming community has already put a lot of faith, a lot of trust in developers by kickstarting their games. Um, that's gnarly. Um, so, yeah, I just I feel like they're taking advantage of that goodwill. And to be honest with you, I actually think that they're trying to make games risk-free. And what what I mean by risk-free is that they don't have to invest their capital, their own money, into their games anymore. I mean, a business or an individual doesn't actually need to go and take out their own money from their bank account and put it into developing a new game. They can just go to straight to the community through Kickstarter and say, Hey, look, we've got this awesome new idea, new idea and we want you to fund it for us or else we won't make it. And I feel like that's just taking advantage of people's goodwill because, t in my opinion, Kickstarters are great for helping people out. Like, maybe there's people who have been working in the game development business for a while. They've had some kooky ideas that they just need some help getting out with, out there with. And they can't get funding from normal publishers because publishers are like, well, that's too risky. I don't want to fund that. But you go to the gaming community and gamers are like, I love that idea. I want to play that game. That sounds like a game I want to play. And I will thus fund your game and help you get your company off the ground. And I really believe that Kickstarters should be used by people who need money to fund, found a business, to start a business. Because there's a lot of costs involved. I understand that. Um, you know, you obviously you have to get insurance. You have to get equipment. You have to get there's business registration fees, you might have lawyer fees, you might have accountant fees. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff that goes with starting a business that uh, people aren't aware of, I suppose, and, and I understand that. But once you've had your first successful Kickstarter, once you've had your first successful game out there, people like the game, presumably. 
people are buying the game and it's a so-called commercial success I don't think you should go back to Kickstarter for more money it just feels like you're trying to take advantage of people feels like you're trying to take advantage of me and my trust and my goodwill because honestly you should be able to use the profits from your first game to, to start funding your next game and if you're not willing to do that if you're not willing to fund your next game with your own profits maybe that says something about the strength of your next game maybe that says something about your financial management skills maybe that says something about your first game and it wasn't as profitable as you thought it would be or perhaps you overspent in, deve in the development um, one of my biggest things I guess is I wonder if developers are now trying to develop the games risk-free and this may or may not be a trend I've noticed a few developers maybe try to do this or maybe have this sort of attitude um, it's just a feeling I get, but I feel like people or developers, individuals or companies, whatever it may be, are actually sitting around and saying, well, you know what, we don't have to invest our own money anymore. We can go straight to Kickstarter and have people fund our game for it. And if we don't hit our Kickstarter goal, we don't have to make the game. Um, and essentially what that means is they don't have to put their own money on the line, they don't have to take on any of the financial risks they just have to s sell their idea and once they have enough money from the Kickstarter they can start developing and quite possibly they could be paying for the entire development of the game through Kickstarter I mean that's entirely possible uh, I believe Human Resources is asking for about 1.2 million dollars in Kickstarting uh, of money sorry to kickstart the game that's a lot of money uh, I'm not saying that the game won't cost more money I don't know but what I am saying is that that seems like a lot of money to me and they could very well be paying for their entire development costs just through Kickstarter alone and to me that's just that's not on they should be using their profits from their first game they should be looking towards uh, having a sustainable business model that is you know you make a pro you make a product you sell the product you take this profits and invest it into your next product and you keep that cycle going instead of saying hey okay we spent all that money I don't know what they spent it on maybe they really did spend it all on development I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of costs you have to hire people you have to get contracts maybe contract artists or contract musicians or whatever it may be um, I'm not saying I, I know how much it costs, but then again, if you're selling a game, hopefully you're selling it at a profit, not at a loss. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel about Kickstarters right now. Uh, I'm starting to get suspicious. Uh, I feel like, you know, I used to have a lot of goodwill towards it. Now I feel a bit iffy, a bit like, well, are you trying to take advantage of me? Are you not? Are you just trying to do this whole thing risk-free? Because, uh, you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that way. It should be. It should be a shared thing. It should be a shared experience. Uh, Kickstarter should be used to help people get off the ground and not help people do something when they already have the means to do it, when they already have the resources to do it. Um, and obviously, with Uber Entertainment, Planetary Annihilation wasn't even their first game. They've already got development teams. I presume they already have enough money to pay for those development teams. So, I just have to wonder what they're doing. I, just, I really do have to wonder what they're trying to do. Um, is it because they really need the money, or is it just because Kickstarter is a great way to minimize your financial risk? Um, and on one hand, I don't blame people for trying to do that. Uh, financial risk is obviously something people companies are always looking to minimize but on the other hand well you you're taking advantage of people it's as simple as that anyway those are my thoughts let me know what you think in the comments if you like this video please like the video uh, my brother and I we're kind of new to this whole YouTube commentary thing so if you have any suggestions for us or if there's any sort of videos you'd like to see from us 
or if you just have any constructive feedback or if you have any positive feedback just let us know hey uh, post it in the comments post it on our Facebook page uh, we have our link somewhere on the website and um, yeah until next time have a good one and I'll catch you in my next video